this video, we'll take a look at some of the advantages of working in the 12 color separation mode as opposed to the 6 color separation mode. In the 12 color mode, we pull all of these different colors, the red, the orange, the yellow, the lime, green, mint, cyan, azure, blue, violet, magenta, rose, and then of course back to red. And the black and the gray is optional. Whereas in the six, we just pull the red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta, and then of course we go back to the red here. But when you're working with the 12, you're able to work with these colors down here as having been pulled in your simulated process color separation. So you can do analysis and look at things based on more color and you'll have more flexibility in your color separations because you have these colors that you don't have in the six color. So when you're able to work with the additional colors and have that flexibility, things like color separation analysis, and looking at how you might want to separate something based on the color that's in the image with the extra colors and the 12 colors, it's a little bit better. We'll take a look at that. This is a simple graphic just to demonstrate. And I can look at this already and see that I'm dealing with basically orange, red, yellow, and black, and a gray if I wanted to add it. I can go to the channels view, and I can go to the black and turn that off. And I can see, there it is. It's a, kind of reddish orange and a lot of red and maybe a little bit of yellow. And I can go through the channels here and start turning them off and see how they affect the original to do that analysis. I'm going to turn these back on. So I can see what I'm dealing with here. So I'll go to the split view and I'm going to start deleting the colors that I don't need or want and the line we don't need. We don't need the green, delete that. We'll just delete all of these because they're not in the image based on the analysis from the 12 color, but the orange and the yellow and the red are there. So I can work with the orange and the red and the yellow, which I can't do in the six color separation. Magenta, we don't have any of that. Rose, we don't have any of that. I can come here and look at the yellow, and it doesn't look like there is any, but I'm pretty sure there is. So we'll go and turn off the color so we can see the grayscale come down to the tone curve, left click, pull, and we can see, yeah, there's definitely some yellow in there. We'll reset that. But that yellow, we could probably take and merge to the orange, and it really wouldn't make a big difference. And we'll merge that, and we'll take a look at our original. We can see it's really unnoticeable. So we've just reduced another screen. Take a look at the orange and then take a look at the red. And there's definitely both of these. Now here what I'll do is I'll take and merge the orange into the red. Now I've got pure red here, and if I look at the original, compared to my preview over here, I can see I need to get some orange in here. Well, that's very easy to do. I'll go back to the red. We'll change that to a custom color. Just come over here, left click, and slide that over a little bit into the orange. Look at our original. And there we've got our separation, working from the 12 colors and doing our color analysis in the 12 color mode. And we're only dealing now with a custom reddish orange, which we've got our color matching formula here for. So we know that we've got a lot of red and a little bit of yellow to bring that in to the orange. So I'd start with the red and start adding a little bit of yellow. Because even though these formulas are accurate, the way in which the inks work, as I said in previous videos, they don't really mix correctly because there can be differences in pigment sizes and the chemicals and the liquids in the ink. So you'd start with the, as close as you could get to a pure red and then start mixing in a little bit of yellow till you get to the point where you've got that color match. Not hard to do. And then you can print this with just the custom color red with a little bit of orange or yellow in it and the black and the white if you're on a color or dark garment. So that's some of the advantages you'll have working with the 12 colors as opposed to the six colors. You'll have better ability to do color analysis. You'll have more flexibility with more colors as opposed to the six color, although you can do many things with the six color. 
but the 12 color gives you the advantage of having those extra six color points in your simulated process color separation workflow as opposed to the six. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.